Hello, welcome aboard. It is time for our session to get started. Today we get the great pleasure of playing with the Recover and Re-Energize Paraliminal. So let's talk just a little bit about the spectacular integrity of the human body. And if there is something that we have done to stress it or stretch it or exercise it, then we have an opportunity to recover and have it build, have the physical body build strength in the direction that we're headed. Now, if we go into some kind of a medical procedure, understand that I've worked with medical doctors and dentists and homeopaths and naturopaths and chiropractors and osteopaths and you just about name it, alternative healing and uh, energy healers. I've, I've worked with so many and all of them will agree on this idea that none of them heal you. All of them create an environment in which the healing can take place. So think about when you are intending to create greater strength and flexibility and resilience and agility and whatever you're doing with your physical body, then creating an internal environment from a psychological or mental perspective, from a deep relaxation perspective, is the idea of helping the physical body move energy effectively to live at your highest, at your best. Now, whether you have a philosophy of five energy channels or naughty channels, or if you have... Um, 12 meridians or a zillion acupuncture points, whatever you want to think of it, if you would imagine that this complex that it of trillions of, of molecules and cells within your body all have intelligence, you're the executor, you are the executive function of all of this. So when you direct your physical body, brain, mind, in order to have healing take place, to recover and to re-energize, it's your directives that make the most importance. What you're saying to yourself as a result of what you went through determines what the outcome's going to be. If you say, Ah, oh, I am completely wasted. I'm totally exhausted. Oh my gosh, it just killed me today. No, 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 no. Don't do that to yourself. Give yourself the opportunity to become stronger as a result of anything that you might have gone through. I've worked with a number of people who have had medical interventions that were pretty significant brain surgeries for hours and hours and hours. Uh, people have gone through months and months and years of chemotherapy and radiation treatments and all sorts of things. And in every situation, what I'm doing with them is helping their thought process and the words that they speak create the optimal environment to achieve the end result that they desire. Returning to perfect health, whatever it might be. So when you think about recovering and re-energizing, I would like to have you consider the metaphor that's in this particular paraliminal. Essentially, what you're doing is you're stepping into a natural mineral hot spring in nature. There are a couple of paraliminals that use this metaphor, and there's good reason for it. I'm a big fan of natural hot springs. <laughs> I've been to them in many places in the world. I've been to them in uh, New Zealand. I've been to them in the Rocky Mountains. I've been to them in uh, many places in North America. But the idea is 
that there is something remarkable about the connection that the physical body has with the earth in terms of its healing properties. Now, philosophically, it's important to understand that a physical body is not who you are. A physical body is something that you have. So don't take yourself as an afterthought. What you need to do, especially when you're trying to recover from some intervention that's taken place, some physical activity that you've engaged in, put yourself front and center. Eat well. Relax completely. Sleep deeply. When you awaken and you give yourself positive, uh, uh, give yourself the first thoughts of the day, make sure that they're very positive thoughts. Now back to this idea of the natural mineral hot springs. These, for all throughout human history, there have been uh, cultures, tribes, peoples, indigenous peoples, migrating peoples who, who have always sought out the healing qualities of natural hot springs. And we've intuitively understood that there is a natural restoration of the physical body, an opening of the energy channels, and a restoring that takes place when you're in natural hot springs. So when you're Stepping into it, I have you imagine the energy going up throughout the body. First the feet and ankles, and then through the legs, and then, you know, as you sit in, as you float in it, all of that. You're imagining it moving through the physical body, opening up all the channels. <clears throat> if you know anything about um, Spring Forest Qigong, Qigong exercises, and working with the 12 meridians, we know if something has happened that has caused a blockage to occur, there's two types of problems that occur. One is downstream from that blockage, there's not enough energy. And upstream from that blockage, there's too much energy. And what we're interested in is removing those blockages and restoring the natural flow. If you think of any healing modality is attempting to do exactly that, then you can facilitate that with the right use of your mind. Now, I had an interesting opportunity years ago to have lunch with a former governor of one of the states in Mexico. And um, he told me a story that was quite remarkable. During the time that he was a governor, the state had a terrible drought that had lasted for three years. And a group of indigenous came to him and said, we would like to do a ceremony, a dance, in order to come to understand <clears throat> what the cause of the drought is and how we could restore the natural balance of things. Now, the governor wasn't necessarily into this woo-woo kind of stuff, but he thought, hey, if it's good for the people, we'll give it a shot. And of course, all the news media came in. They watched these concheros dancing in the square at, in, at the um, capital of the state. And this group danced all day long and all night long for several days. And then, about two and a half days into it, suddenly they all stopped simultaneously. They had all received the download, what modern science talks about as presencing. And they were suddenly present to what it is that was going on. So all at once, this group walks into the governor's office. Now, all of the news media wanted to follow them. Governor stopped them at the door, closed session. He said, give me the explanation. He said, they said that there are 12 sacred sites throughout the state. 
And each one of those sacred sites has been desecrated. And we need to restore that natural energy to each of those sites. Now, if you know anything about acupuncture, essentially what they're talking about is acupuncture for the land. If you've studied diamond feng shui, especially um, dowsing, that there are energy vortexes and there are energy blocker, blockages. And if you've studied something called ley lines in the UK, these are natural pathways of energy in the earth. And each one of those sites was specified and identified by indigenous peoples through the millennia and those sites had been desecrated. So they went and they restored the natural flow, kind of like an acupuncturist would, inserting a needle and getting the energy to flow again in that spot. And what the governor had to do is he had to convince all of the regional municipal, uh, municipal governments to have it be okay to have these indigenous shamans do this work. And he was able to get agreement. And guess what? After they had restored the energy to each of these sites, it started raining. The first rain that they had had in three years. And things came back to normal. Now, this is kind of a next level, far out, oh my gosh, how is this possible? But here is this man, a governor, former, former governor of a state, having lunch with me, opening his heart and telling me the story. Well, I've had this opportunity to talk with healers of every kind of modality, and they, res they report the same kind of energetic that is required in order for us to recover and re-energize this physical body. And remember, this is something that you live in. This is something you have. It's not who you are. So you absolutely need to treat it with this concept of it being a magnificent energy field, each one of the organ systems of the body, if you could think of the country that you live in, and you think of all the major communities, states, provinces within your country, each one of them have unique characteristics. Similarly, the physical body has organ systems that each one of them have unique characteristics. Think about the cells that have differentiated in order to become the liver or the kidneys or the heart or the stomach or the pancreas. You know, each one of these is like a community, a gathering of individuals working together to carry out a function. Now, if you were governor of this state, with all of these municipalities, or if you were the president of your country, prime minister of your country with all the regional governments, what would you have to do in order to make sure that everyone's cooperating, everyone's working together, <laughs> right? You're in charge. You don't cause the healing. You create an environment in which the natural restoration, the perfect integrity of your physical body can be restored. So it, when you listen to this paraliminal, think about it from this larger perspective. I think you'll really get the most out of this particular recording. I originally designed it for people who were doing marathons, running marathons, or doing outrageous physical uh, events. And then I realized how important it is for everybody going through medical procedures of any kind as well. So the metaphor 
step into a nice mineral hot spring and get the restoration. Have a beautiful day. Have a spectacular one. I look forward to our final session for this series. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time, the energy to sign on to this and participate. Peace and blessings. All the best.